Alright oh, guys, welcome back to Kiwi Fortress 3. Holy shit, the memes. Alright, and fucking touching to people. The spirit is strong in Felshrine. You touch the stones, you will feel it. They spoke to me, those stones. Told me to take their altar, and to find the hand of a good man. He lived in that church, as you call it. The altar is his and it will wake when he touches it once more. You could find the good man. Bring me his hand? When the spirit of the altar awakes, I will share it with you. I promise. I gave the Ebony Legion my faith and my loyalty, and it offered me nothing but fear and death in return. Thank you for freeing me from both. I have nothing to give you but my gratitude and my knowledge. I know you have no use for the former, so let's hope the latter makes up for it. Piety led us into that wretched place in the hopes of finding a device named simply the Spike. Fashioned by Inquisitor Melagaro, it was said to enable the injection of Calibric Extantia into living flesh. Calibric Extantia being the corrupt energies locked within Virtue Gems. We couldn't find the Spike, yet we met its most successful application. Keep your life to your own. I went into the Eight Leg Forest. In the southwest, met the mother of the Eight Legs. We fought. I stuck my spear in her eye. It is still there. Iremir said to leave it there, that my spear is a thing made for dark science, whatever that be. But no, I want it back. Mother Eight Legs would smell me from far off. She doesn't know your smell. Could you go and get my spear from her? All right, so he wants us to get a spear. You help uh, us. So we'll do that Everybody. in just a minute. So we're gonna solve this little issue here of uh, Herald of Ash requiring int. We have an amulet here that gives us intelligence. We're just gonna fucking put that on. Uh, Ta-da! We can now equip it. There we go. We have our first aura, or it's a herald. It's not really an aura actually at all. And uh, that's it for that. And we'll show you how that works in a bit. What troubles you bring? But uh, let's see here. Uh, we're just gonna sell this crap that I have here. It's a shame we can't use one-handed weapons literally at all because we've far. already invested into them. <clears throat> I don't know if we're ever gonna use double strike either. I don't think we will. Probably not ground slam either. I think we're done with that as well. I think I'm done with double strike too. Fuck that shit. Chance to bleed support. Maybe we should put Chance to Bleed on the Ancestral Protector. I don't know, I don't have anything else to do with that. I, I mean, feel like I, I should could, get I better gems. Well. I, I, mean, I mean, I could probably get better gems. I'm also gonna upgrade our Mana Flask because I haven't done that in forever. It's actually becoming a problem. The Mana... Hopefully Pat at some point what is gonna solve that for me, but fuck it. You know yeah. how level Pat is. So, uh, if you don't see, uh, like, let's Bleed say the, the amulet that you want from the vendor, let's say right now, like right now she wouldn't be selling it, and I mean, this would work too, but let's just pretend she doesn't have that. I mean, you can check the vendors in the other acts as well, and they also reset every time you level up. So their, their inventory is basically the same until you level up, uh, which is important to know. What troubles you? Uh, so Return that's why you don't see me checking every time I'm in town, because it's tied to levels. Anyways, let's go to the riverways now. Because it asked me to go this way. Yeah, we'll go this way first. Even though we're supposed to eventually do something down there. Pat coming? Who knows? But we'll yeah, I, I'm trying to buy. I'm trying to buy a uh, clarity real quick from the vendor. Yeah. All right, I'm going to show you the the herald here. So herald is a buff for yourself, and it gives me 15% of my physical damage as extra fire damage. So pretty good. But it's reserving 25% of my mana, as you can see. Reserving some of it. That's lots of mana pool to cast things off of. Um, I, I think I heard this guy made like a wonderful aura calculator to kind of fucking you know if you want to have lots of auras to mix, mix and match them. I, I, I just I've heard of him, but you know it's a pretty good tool for that if you search for them for Path of Exile aura calculators. Pat's not getting in on the joke at all. No, no, I'm not. I'm I'm trying I'm trying to figure out where the fuck I buy this thing at. Why did you leave my party? Apparently I'm not supposed to listen to your lies. Alright, get in here. I'm fucking bored. Alright, I, I, I just gotta put my gems in uh, in order because that's an important thing to do, Mike. 
Oh my, I'm just gonna go without him. It's okay, we're yeah. in the path. This is like a level fucking 15 area, and we're level we're level 20. We're way over level for this place. Like, everything's gonna die. Now. It's because we kill too much shit. I really mean, what it is. I mean, game. really, but I wasn't gonna tell anybody, like... Have fun. Oh shit, he made it. Oh my usually god, I did it. Usually pet bitches about how, like, Flame Dash doesn't work, it's awful. Well, I mean, it can be. You're awful. So I'm gonna need some mana leech for this build pretty soon, actually. That's I'm right. running clarity, Jesus. Eh, fine. Just wondering if I should go get some leech first, you know? Yeah, I mean, leech is not necessarily a bad thing either. Well, leech is nice. I attack so fucking slow. Yeah, so the fire day should hold you over. It is and isn't. How, how's that? Uh, how's that shield hole uh, helping out? I don't. I don't know. I've got almost a thousand health. Oh, okay, I, I have half that. <laughs> <laughs> I have no. I have no response to that actually. Yeah. I mean, I'm not know, even I, melee. Fun. I don't even have to get in shit's face. But at least, at least you'll never be the one to die. Anyways, we followed the road for that one, and we made it to Western Forest. So now we're over here. Or back in the darkness. Well, back in the darkness, yeah. That was a shitty game. So there's like three quests in this area. For some reason, like, they just fucking piled on the quests in this area. Fucking bone spirit shield, the fuck? Well, you know, the reason they did that is because there used to be extra areas on this map. Like, there was another area before the last one and this one. And some yeah. of the quests were there, and some of the quests were here, sure but they made it shorter. Joe's or pet. Thank you. Reforge the sockets on an item, so if you notice that not all of them have the same amount of sockets. Uh, generally speaking, two hundred weapons can have six. Uh, so can armors, but don't use it now to try and get six. You want to save them for like a really good piece of gear. But like, and these ones can have four on them, kind of thing. And if you have one-handed weapons and stuff, it's uh, three, three sockets. Yeah, which means if you have one-handed weapons, you have two weapons on each hand. So it's basically like the six, but they're just not connected. Which means usually you want to do some shit where like. Oh, know, we got a rogue X out here. Oh shit! Getting the rogue shit beat out of him. And they drop a bunch of good shit. They're like little mini bosses. I guess I'll fucking take all that shit. Eh. Eh. You like? Nah, you don't want that. I might want it. The, you don't know me. Fuck, fine, have it. I don't want that. Okay. You can have all this. I don't even give a fuck about any of this. I don't want any of that. It's all awful. Yeah, it's, I just fucking told you. You don't want it. Dude, no wonder that guy just died so easy. His gear was god awful. They're AI controlled, by the way. They're not like human players coming after us. But they're yeah, kind of. We don't do the PvP League anymore. That's awful. They're kind of like us, though. <laughs> PvP League. Like, the, basically, the idea is they're exiles, too. And they have, like, different. They're different kinds. And not all exiles are made equal, that's for damn sure. Igna okay. Phoenix. Kill the black guys. Oh shit, that's a really important one. That's about to pick up for sure. Alright, so we got a thematic emblem from him. And re reforges links between sockets and items. So this is a really important one. Uh, this is basically, you can basically go and say like, Hey, I want to make this four socket, and then you link it together. You make it... You make it four link kind of a thing. You basically, it links up the items together. Uh, sorry, it links up the sockets together, which is good for putting more supports on it. A uh, very important one, we save those. We try and save those as much as possible. Then I'm gonna use the Thomaic Sulfite uh, Seal here. And actually, I'm just gonna show you briefly what, what happens here when you go out to here. Oh, what's this? Hey, it's Prisoner's Gate. We, uh, we actually opened it up as the place we had from before. We have a quest nice. for that too. It's a nice letter, letter for that. Yeah, we'll get to that question in a moment. Arteri, my beautiful captain. I wish it were not you, but I cannot bring myself to trust any other with this most vital of tasks. This is the only pass between the Inner and Outer Empire. No further exiles are to enter the Inner Empire. We have material enough for our work. Ensure that the barricade remains in place, and if any exile should somehow pass through, kill them. I will send for you when my work is complete in San. Until we share our next night together. Piety. Oh. 
next night together. What does that tell you, Pat? Well, lore-wise, uh, Piety was a whore. That's pretty much, like, not, not even jokingly, that's literally what she was. Yep. Yep. And she All practiced right. necromancy so that way she could, you know, pay off her whoring debts or whatever it was. Something weird with her. She's fucking weird. Alright, so off the road, you can see how like, there's like this little stone path here. You can't really see it on this map at all. Actually, you kind of can. But on the video, it looks awful. But yeah. So there, there's a bit of, of stone path that actually appears here. And if you follow this, you make it to the next bandit encampment, which is here somewhere. Do you actually want any of these, Pat? I'm going to guess not. No, I'm good. Yeah. A lot of skew points. Unless they change them, uh, none of them are really going to be good for me. One of yeah. them might be really good for you, probably. I mean, yeah, I was thinking of getting that one, but yeah, that's not the one. This one I'll, I'll tell you about in a second. Let me just uh, talk to this person first, though. I caught some rats in my traps today. They told me an amusing tale. Their rat king, Creighton, dead. Can't say I'm surprised. You have a powerful aura on you, bright as the sunset before a storm. So let me rub an idea against that hot spirit of yours, see if it catches fire. The amulet I wear, sister to the one you took from Creighton, Oak has its triplet. There's power in these trinkets, enchantment enough to keep my tribe safe. Go north, bring me an amulet, and Oak's lying tongue, and I'll make you part of that power. You need friends in Rayclast, and believe me, I can be a fine friend. Alright, so hers is 5 mana regenerated per second, global critical strike multiplier, and 15% to all elemental resistances. Mm. I do want to mention right here, especially if you're playing some of the top int base classes, you should heavily consider this actually. And if you're playing any crit build, that uh, critical strike multiplier is amazing. Even if you're not, 15% to all element resistances, I mean, if you're new to the game, it really helps out. It really helps out, actually, because resistances are extremely difficult to cap out. Um, for new players. Actually, it, may, it may actually be really worth it for your first character in this game. I would honestly say maybe even go for it. If you're doing a duelist like me, then probably not. Uh, if you did some kind of variation where you, if you have any use for crit... Like, please, maybe get this. One. Consider this one. It's, this one actually isn't that bad, uh, but I'm not doing it, so fuck it. Compared to Creighton, which we shit talked forever. Creighton was literally awful. As I said, it has its uses. It's just not uses in builds that you play. I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess not. I was thinking of doing Stormcold, but I didn't do it. The blade in your throat, isn't it, witch? <laughs> it's hard to cast a, bl a spell with a blade in your throat, isn't it, bitch? <laughs> Wrong character, Mike. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the the path here. And usually on the opposite side of the map, there's um, uh, there's the spider den, and you can tell when the trees get all white. Unfortunately, you can't tell on the map itself anymore. When the trees are turning white. They have like webs on them, but yeah, now you can see them. They used to actually have a visual effect on the mini map itself, but they've changed that uh, as of 3.0. So they changed a lot of mini map stuff related, actually. All right, let me go put another point. So should I go for the mana leech first, or should I go for? I think I can stuff. Nah, you know what? I have enough. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a beeline for that nice uh, for that nice uh, cannot uh, def, what is it uh, fucking cannot miss node. Yeah, resolute technique. Resolute technique. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, guys, it will come in handy because right now our chance is ninety-one percent. It's not dwindling that quickly, but it will eventually. It'll be annoying when it happens. All right, and here's uh, Weaver's Chambers. This is good old Mother Eight Leg. Oh, is it the father mother? Yeah. So, uh, important thing. Well, kind of neat thing. All the characters in Act Two. Fucking hell! All right. Anyways, all the characters in Act Two. We have to kill these relics. There she says over here. All the characters in Act Two are based upon animals. So I think. Uh, one of them's the, the the one that gives this quest is uh Silk. So, yeah, Silk is a spider. Yina's Who'd a fox. Who that one? Yina's a fox. Groost is a what is boar. it? Boar. Yeah, boar. Yeah. And uh, the guy who's on the ground, Aramir, is a monkey. I mean, that's just what they're based upon. 
Wow, this, these guys don't really seem that tough anymore, do they? No, but we, we've kind of hit a point in our builds where I think we're pretty well in, uh... Wow, four time shards? That's... Yeah. Yeah, he's dropping a lot. You need fire never mind. I will I will use that just to show off how shitty mines are. Never mind, I don't have sockets. Oh, maybe I'll do it. Fuck you then. It's probably yeah, I don't have sockets either. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> fine, hold it. on. Let me just. But you used to like mines. You used to be like hold on, hold fucking on, hold legit. On, hold on. When we get to some more enemies, stop and let me let me put some mines down. All right. Where's some enemies? Oh, right, here's one. Let me put some mines down. Okay. Now we do the thing. Yeah. I I went to just a mine build as your first build. I mean, they have their place, and there's a fucking thing here. And my builds are okay, they're just not great. Uh, uh, this is actually not a bad chest piece, actually. It's evasion, though, but yeah, I don't mind that. As I'm getting hit by shit. But I, I can totally use evasion ch chest pieces, nothing wrong with that. I, I'm probably getting iron refluxes later in this build, just because yeah, so I it doesn't really matter. That's I good, because I'm thinking about running Grace. Yeah, that would be nice. Iron Refluxes will convert my evasion to armor. So you basically yeah. get chance to reduce damage to just an all-the-time percent reduced damage. Yeah. Which is good. I mean, Great really, the, the end game more becomes about not getting one hit, but that may have changed slightly now. At the, like, the game's a bit different now. Ooh. There's a new kind of chest piece. What'd uh, you get? Almost... <laughs> just excuse me, I don't fuck it, I'll take that one. You can have this one. Uh, it is a three link. Yeah. I haven't quite got the finesse for this. Fucking cyan. Alright, so we're done there. And now we got shit ton of shit to talk about with all these characters. Piety would have concurred with Eremir's theory about that northwestern ruin. The Val were a powerful civilization predating even the Eternal Empire, and Piety very much wanted to see what toys the Val might have left for her to play with behind those stone doors. Yet we couldn't budge them, not with that giant of a tree holding them fast in her roots. You now carry a cure to that problem, or rather, a useful illness. Use the spike to inject the baleful gem's calibric extantia into the roots. One day soon, Piety will find her way into that ruin. You need to get there first. Farewell. You killed Mother Eightleg? Old Triai? You must have more than a song for that. When I found my spear in the forest, I found these two. Please, take one. Alright, what kind of thing about melee physical damage support? Oh, support skills deal... 30% more damage is bleeding and poison caused by melee hits. That's new. Yeah, it's so fucking weird, too. You get faster attacks. It's also very good. Elemental damage with attack support. That's um, not really for us. And physical projectile attack damage support. Not really for us, either. Because we don't do a lot of elemental damage. I mean, both these are good. I like, I like fucking faster attacks personally, but, I mean, I don't have... Uh, we're starting to run into the problem of what the fuck do I link this all to, you know? Pretty much. Yep. So the I'm gonna take cry. I'm gonna take Hello. one of these and I'm gonna also get one of the fucking physical damage support gems. I think I'm gonna I kinda wanna take off Ruthless. Yeah, I think I wanna take off uh, Ruthless. That's fair. Cause you know what, it's thirty percent more damage or do I get ninety percent more on every third hit? And a and a bit of a stun. That's the question. I still think the ninety percent more on every third is better. Well, I think you're wrong. I know you do. I just gonna put these away just in case I want these for another time. Oh, whoa, this is a nice coral amulet. Except for the fact I'm kind of using my other one for, uh... I mean, I'll give this to Pat, actually. You could use this, probably. Oh, thank you. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, thank me? Yeah. What we will do is we'll put faster attacks on Leap Slam, so we'll be able to move around even faster, so that'll be kind of nice. Alright, and we actually aren't done yet, because in Act 1 we actually have one quest left, and it's a way forward, so... I go talk to Bestel. This is one that 
kind of can get overlooked because it was a quest that we got to open up the, the trees uh, from before. So we actually did it. So here we go. A stranger like no other faced the wall of the Umbra, opened a pass in a sorry land, gave some hope to a sorry band of exiles and death so castaways, a chance at life on a brand new day. There, thought you deserve one of my finest poems, written to commemorate such a mighty feat. Oh, and this, been keeping it for a very special occasion. Consider yourself just such an occasion. Oh, and we get a passive point for that. Good shit. And so we can now just fucking run all the way up here. So you guys see me doing actually for the next couple of levels. By the way, what what uh, red gym did you take off your ship? Uh, I took the ruthless one. Yo, I'll take that. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll put on my skeletrons. I don't even know what you did with it. One sec. Oh yeah, I put it on this thing. And yeah, no, I sold it, Pat. God damn you! <laughs> I mean, I have enough of them that I think that makes very good use out of that, actually. Oh, I was gonna give you this other thing too. Let me give you this amulet. Yeah, I don't have an amulet. So that works good. Yep. There we go. We're all happy. All right. So I guess we'll just finish off oak then. What the fuck? Why do I have just like a one-handed bow? Oh, that's why. Because you confused me. All right. Let's go back to riverways. All right. We're gonna finish off oak here. Oak is the last bandit. Now, he's the one I have to consider very deeply if I want his bonus, because I actually do think I want his bonus. I think you want his bonus. Uh, that's an odd bridge. Yeah, it's a very short bridge. I turn my left click into a movement. Whoops. Let's see how fast I leap slam now. Not incredibly fast, but you know. Okay, I think we went the wrong way. We totally went the we wrong way. We totally went the wrong way. That's why I thought that was odd. Alright, so I'll tell you what we did wrong when we get there. Because Pat should have realized this. I followed you, mind you. Yeah, fuck you. Okay. So it's the same <laughs> deal. It's like the little ruined road here. Kind of comes up here. Oh shit, it's Katarina. Gotta see what she wants. Let us speak of death and desire. We gotta revive the corpse. We're supposed to feed Saul, so we're supposed to kill 50 things around it. I mean, uh, we can do that. A lot of no monkeys are around here. Feeding it slows. Right, let me go. You know, that just generally seems like a bad idea, but what do I know? Feed a giant zombie souls? How could it possibly Hold backfire on. on us? Does that count? Ah, uh, nope, does not count anymore. There used to be a bug where if you, like, continuously resummoned your skeletons, because you only have, like, so many of them, that when they die, they would feed souls to it, but no, it doesn't work anymore. Well, they turned the skeletons uh, into gingers, so they have no souls anymore. Oh. How very true. Alright, he's the last of the monkeys. Alright, we're good. We gotta return him. He, now he's a big zombie. We gotta fight Are him you? now. No, just kidding. Alright, so she's very happy with us now. These masters are not major characters, so I just stopped caring about their dialogue. They never say something useful. Well, it's not that they say things useful, they're interesting characters. Have you never listened to what they say about each other? They fucking hate each other, it's amazing. Well, obviously they do. Just talk to, just talk to Arion about Haku, he's like, Oh, Haku, that filthy fucking heathen! <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, man, calm down. He's Scottish. Yeah, he, he's something for sure, that's alright. What kind of man worship trees? Oh, hey, we have a new master here. Crawl us out. We can talk to her in peace. Okay, fine. This land is crawling with vermin. Eight legged, no legged, and everything in between. Life here has become twisted and hateful, and it's eating Rayclast alive. Unless we do something about it. Unless we clear away this infestation. Nature doesn't stand a chance while it has creatures like that at its throat. You want to make an impression around here? I have a certain pack of vermin in mind. 
stronger and more vicious than most. Track them to their home territory and wipe them out. For this hunt, I'm going to share a piece of bushcraft with you. Well, bushcraft smeared with thaumaturgy. The corrupted creatures tend to mark their territory with their foulness. This trick allows you to pick up that scent and follow it home. The whole thing stinks of corruption, I know. But you can't expect to put your nose to the ground without getting it dirty. Alright, so that's Tora Master of the Cunt. Uh, really? So, yeah. <laughs> so, it's supposed to find... Uh, we're supposed to find an infested den or something. Infected den. Um, Corrupted den, yeah, that's obvious. So, it's, we gotta follow some... Some scatter pools of blood. She she called it litter. Oh, okay, right here. No, we didn't even have to find any blood. Yeah, then she came over here. Well, she 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 described it as foulness. So I thought it meant like they piss everywhere. I so mean, like, that's not the worst assumption you've ever made, but still. Oh, look at mall. Sweet. The jagged this mall. Is not as good as the one you gave me, actually. Well, it might be. But I can't He's use it anyways. It's close. You hear that? That's the sound of nature taking its first decent breath in far too long. The more vermin we turn into fertilizer, the more nature can breathe and grow in peace. Come see me when you're next in the forest encampment. I can always use a good color. Ah, she can use a good color. She likes colors, Pat. Oh, you know what my favorite color is, Mike? What? Green. Mainly because I can still see green. You can still see it. So what is like it deteriorating or what? How's this work for you? B basically, it seems like the older I get, the more I'm losing my color vision. Like color it, vision. it's yeah. Like it's, I'm not like strictly colorblind, but there's like something like in my retina that's like deteriorating. I don't know. It's fucking weird, dude. Uh, that's depressing. All right. Let's yeah. Talk to Oak. It's it started with blues. I'm gonna talk to Oak. The half wit and the horror dead. I never thought I'd see the day. Now I am king, unquestioned, unrivaled. A fine feeling indeed. Not much of a kingdom to speak of, but at least it's a peaceful one. But if peace isn't reward enough for you, give me the amulets that Creighton and Alira wore around their worthless necks. When joined with mine, those trinkets will forge us a new strength, you and I. The strength to continue to do what we must. All right. Well, I am considering very heavily to do this guy's thing. Uh, I mean, you're not getting Vault Pact, and the Vault Pact is a keystone that removes his ability to have life regeneration. So that would help you. Physical yeah. damage reduction means you take less damage, and you have increased physical damage. Those are all yeah, good I'll, things. I'll, I'll help him. All right, Pack, get out of here. I can leave. So when you're in a party, he has to leave, so I can go say help. And quite the rush to the head, that. Okay, apparently he does stop stalking. Now be on your way, find yourself a patch of dirt to call your own far from here. Nice. He has a little tolerance from neighbors. I don't know why he just stopped talking, it was weird. Alright, we got the apex. We got our block of cheese. Alright, let me leave for a second. Holy shit, what the fuck's that popping noise? What popping noise? The sound is just completely fucked again. <laughs> it sounds like fucking AOL right now. Oh All my right. god. I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna fucking exit the game and, and reload it. Wait one sec. Holy shit. That, just, that was fucking weird. No wonder you just stopped talking. They have like a new glitch with like the sound. Alright, well. Now, I didn't help Pat with that. Um, quest. Pat did it on his own, and I decided to... Yeah, uh, I have to kill this guy. He has to kill him, so, I mean, I'll just get a portal when he's done that. Pretty much the same deal as with everybody. It's gonna take but, a while, because he's immune to physical damage. Whatever, I'll just talk to Katarina and Tori here. No, I don't want to talk to them, actually. Fuck it. Not immune, but he's highly resistant to my physical damage. Ba basically, Pat's saying that I'm the DPS of this party. Actually, why don't I put this here? I'm gonna fucking sell that. That's a chromatic. You help us. And I wish I could. Not saying you're the DPS, but he uses a mortal call, which is an ability that periodically like makes him immune to physical damage. And I'm like strictly physical damage right uh, now. Stop your whining. Fuck. Uh, quit your whining. Fuck you. So we Stanley. Got the Apex. It's a it's a block of cheese. It's great. 
you have. I don't know if there's any new abilities to try out here. Oh yeah, I want Enduring Cry. I forgot about that. And Blood Rage. They're both really good. All right. Um. So Enduring Cry. I'm not sure. Okay. I guess you know we can start doing charges then. Uh. I guess since Pat's still doing that, I will just. I, I'm done. He's done. All right. So Blood Rage is a buff, which gives me some physical damage leech, but and some increased attack speed. But you take life. Uh, as da uh, as damage per second, and I get this because when you kill something, you have a good chance of getting a uh, uh, frenzy charge. I forgot what the percent chance is. I think it's like it's thirty something, ain't it? Oh, twenty five right now. But it, I think it goes up as you level. And Pat's done killing, so oh, Oak's dead. Well, luckily he gave me the fucking thing before he died. Oh well. So it's it's a buff uh, that I can just use, and then we have enduring cry. Uh, so we can gain frenzy charges, basically, and then we have enduring cry, which is something that uh, gives us a bit of life regen and also gives us uh, an endurance charges when, when I'm surrounded by enemies. Uh, and the reason why this is these are particularly useful is we can actually see in over here what what the charges do um, for us. So we can have up to three uh, endurance charges. They grant us physical damage reduction per endurance charge and also some more resistances per. Endurance charge. It's mostly the physical damage reduction that's a nice one. It makes us extremely tanky. And frenzy charges give us attack speed, cast speed, and four percent more damage, which is really good uh, for each for each one too. So it's more the endurance charges are more important to me, and we can get more from the tree and razor maximum. Now, if you were to get power charges, you get forty percent uh, additional uh, critical strike chance per power charge, but we have no way of generating that. Usually it's a bit difficult to generate those kinds of charges, and I'm basically going to look like a Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. I think that's a bit... Yeah, oh, sorry, I was going to show you on the tree. So, in different places, like here's an endurance charge, you can get another one. Or, or over here, you can get an additional frenzy charge. And over here, she gets a, a frenzy charge, and then there's like a frenzy and another power charge. So, basically, yeah, that's all we do. So, I... We're gonna pop Blood Rage and that. So you can kind of see how many I have up here. I already have two Frenzy Charges. All I have to do, do is every once in a while just hit Q. And that'll give me some more Endurance Charges. So now my physical death reduction is like 53%. So basically I'm one tanky motherfucker. But it does not they don't last for very long. I have to keep refreshing them. And we use the Blood Rage because it makes me all super sane. But that's also the reason why you saw me and I was like, oh. I kind of want to get the life regen and the and the damage and the physical damage reduction from oh because they're they're all kind of useful things that I would probably go get anyways because they make me tanky they make me do more damage and I, I I get more life that way more sustain so that's kind of why I decided on that one there's very few cases and even then someone could argue that it's really not better than two skill points and they would probably be right if it was one skill point it would have been different I don't know why they made it two. I, th I think just because you do use all three things you get from Oak, it does make it worth it. That's that's my that's my only real argument. Like I said, it's it's still kind. I think it's kind of questionable, but it's a new patch. Fucking Yolo, whatever. I'll fucking get it. I don't care. All right, so right here we have our tree roots and the waypoint. And Pat's over there somewhere, fucking around. I'm now just we killing people. We're actually technically not done this. We can actually go through sacred ground. I'm wondering uh, how much time we have left. We actually don't yeah. have enough time left. So we're gonna just open the tree roots first here. Yeah, that's what we did with the baleful gem and the other things. Now we have nothing else. Wonder if this does more DPS though. It does not. So we're not gonna go in there yet, because uh, we're gonna call it quits here and maybe do the other quest before that. I want to see if anyone else has anything to say. No, nope. they're all okay what with everything want? that has transpired here. Excited. So no more rallying cry, no more damage buffs. I don't know if you want it, Pat. Do you want do you want rallying cry? Uh, dude, yeah, dude, I don't have the sockets for this shit already. Uh, you can use it some other time. Fuck it, it it's, saves you from having to buy it because maybe it's useful for you. Probably you first alchemy orb. Nice. Anyways, guys, we're gonna call quits here. So thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye, everybody.